Hi students, today we're going over Unit 3, Module 3, Session 4, Homework, Very Small and Very Large Numbers. Number 1 says, write two fractions that are equal to each decimal number. And so we see the first decimal here. How do we read it? One tenth. And so we're thinking, what two fractions are equal to one tenth? Well, we know that 1 over 10 is equal, because that's the same as one tenth. And what's another equivalent fraction? We could say 10 one hundredths. Or I'm sure there's other fractions that you can also think of that are equal. So these are just two examples. You can have other equivalent fractions. Number two says one hundredth, or I guess not number two, the same one of number one. One hundredth, and so what's the fraction we're going to write here? That's right, one over one hundred. And maybe an equivalent one is you can multiply both top and bottom by 10 to get 10 one thousandths. Looking at the next one, we read it as one one thousandth or one thousandth. And so we have one over a thousand. And we can multiply both top and bottom by 10 to get 10 ten thousandths. And the last one, we have five hundredths. So we have five one hundredths. You can multiply both top and bottom by 10 again to get 50 one thousandths. Looking at number two, complete the chart below. So we have one and two tenths. One tenth less is one and one tenth. One tenth greater, one and three tenths. One hundredth less, one and nineteen hundredths. 100th greater, 1 in 21 hundredths. Challenge here is we're looking at 1 1,000th less and 1 1,000th greater. Let's look at 8 and 73 hundredths. So we're thinking of 1 tenth less, so we're going to subtract a tenth. So here we have 7 tenths. What's 1 tenth less than 7 tenths? That's right, 6 tenths. So we're going to have 8 and 63 tenths. One tenth greater would be eight and eighty-three tenths. One hundredth less. Looking here in the hundredths place, we have three. One hundredth less would be two. So we're gonna have eight and seventy-two hundredths. One hundredth greater would be eight and seventy-four hundredths. One thousandths less, we can think about adding another digit here. If we have zero here, we can think about it that it's that's now read as 730 thousandths. So one thousandths less would make eight and 729 thousandths. One thousandths greater would be eight and 700 31 thousandths. Let's look at the next one, 4 and 6 hundredth. One tenth less, so here if we see 0, one tenth less would be 9, but we know we need to then borrow from the ones place, so this one's going to become a 3. That's right, that one's a little trickier. So it's going to be 3 and 96 hundredths. One tenth greater, Four and sixteen hundredths, one hundredth less, four and five hundredths, one hundredth greater, four and seven hundredths. Again, when we go to the thousands column, we can add a zero here in the thousands to think about it a little easier. We're thinking, what's one thousandths less? Well, here we see sixty thousandths. What's one thousandths less? Fifty nine thousandths. So we will have four and fifty-nine thousandths, one thousandths greater, four and sixty-one thousandths. Looking to the next, we see six and nine tenths, one tenth less, six and eight tenths, one tenth greater would be seven holes. That's right, hopefully that didn't trick you because one greater than nine would be 10. So we know the zero is gonna stay in the tens place. It's gonna add a one to the ones place, which makes comes zero. 
So now we're moving to the hundredths place. I'm going to add a zero here. It's going to help me to think about the hundredths. Six and ninety hundredths, one hundredth less, would be six and eighty nine hundredths. One hundredth greater would be six and ninety one hundredths. I'm going to add another zero to think about thousandths. And now I see six and eight hundred ninety nine thousandths. Six and nine hundred one thousandths. Looking at the next one, we have two and eight hundred ninety six thousandths. One tenth less becomes that becomes seven. So it's two and seven hundred ninety six thousandths. One tenth greater to be two and nine hundred ninety six thousandths. One hundredth less two and eight hundred eighty six thousandths. One hundredth greater two and oh we got to think about this one. If the nine becomes one greater it becomes a ten and eight becomes nine. So the answer would be that's right two and nine hundred six thousandths. One thousandths less two and eight hundred ninety five thousandths. One thousandths greater two and eight hundred ninety seven thousandths. Looking at number at the last one, we have six holes. One tenth less of six holes. So I can again add a zero here in the tenths place. So we have six and zero tenths. If I subtract from zero, really it's ten. That zero represents ten. It becomes nine. And then what happens to the ones place? Right, we're gonna borrow or so it's become five and nine tenths. We can also think, what is five and nine tenths plus one tenth? Right, six holes. Now we're thinking six holes, one tenth greater becomes six and one tenth. One hundredth less, I'm going to add another zero in my hundredths place so I can think easier about the hundredths. One hundredth less would be five and ninety-nine hundredths. One hundredth greater would be six and one hundredth. One thousandths less, add another zero to the thousandths place. Five and nine hundred ninety-nine thousandths. One thousandths greater will be six and one thousandth. Looking to the next, round each number to the place shown to complete the chart below. So here we're rounding to the nearest tenth place. So we're going to look at the hundredths place when we round to the tenths. So here the number is zero and nine hundred, or excuse me, nine thousand six hundred eight ten thousandths. So when I round to the tenths place value, I'm going to look to the hundredths. So I'm rounding to the tenths. I look to the hundredths. This nine becomes a ten. And so the answer is one whole is rounded to the nearest tenth. Now I'm rounding to the nearest hundredth. So I'm rounding to the nearest hundredth. I look to the right. I'm looking to the thousands place. I see a zero. And so it's round, rounded to the nearest hundredth. It's 96 hundredths. Now I'm rounding to the nearest thousandths. And so I'm going to look in the ten thousandths place value. Rounding to the thousandths. Look at the ten thousandths. Now the thousandths becomes one greater because I see an, a six or I see an eight there. So the answer is 961 thousandths. Let's try the next one. Rounding to the nearest tenth. I'm going to look, I'm rounding to the tenths. I look to the hundredths. I see a two. So that becomes, it stays the same. And so rounded to the nearest tenth, the answer is zero. Rounding to the nearest hundredth, look to the right. I see a seven. This two goes up by one, becomes a three. So the answer here is three hundredths. Now I'm rounding to the nearest one thousandth. Look to the right, I see a four. This becomes the same. So how many thousandths is it? Twenty-seven thousandths. I'm looking at the last one here on this first page. I see six and eighty-five hundredths. 
or excuse me, six and 85 ten thousandths. So I'm running to the nearest tenth place. So I look at the tenths, look to the right, zero. So it becomes, it stays the same. Six and zero tenths is the answer here. And running to the nearest hundredth, I look to the right, I see an eight. So this increases by one, and so it becomes six and one hundredth. And looking, rounding to the nearest thousandths, look to the right, I see a five. 8 increases by 1, becomes a 9, and so our answer is 6 and 9 thousandths. Looking at number 4, it says, a micrometer is 1 millionth of a meter, 10,000 times as short as a centimeter. How many micrometers long is one edge of a centimeter cube? Well, the answer is actually found right in the question. It says 10,000 times as short as a centimeter. So how many micrometers is one edge of a centimeter cube? Well, so it's asking one centimeter equals how many micrometers? If it's 10,000 times as short, the answer is going to be 10,000 micrometers is the answer because in the question it said it's 10,000 times as short as it. Number five says a football team for the University of Tennessee, the Tennessee Volunteers, plays its home games in the Nalen Stadium in Knoxville, Tennessee. I could be totally pronouncing this wrong. Pronouncing this wrong. I'm not familiar with the stadium in Knoxville, Tennessee. Maybe you can help me with that. The stadium holds about 100,000 people you can do an image search on the internet to see what this pe many people looks like. How many stadiums would it take to hold one million people, a bit less than the number of people living in the Dallas, Texas area? So here I need to think, I could think about multiplication. If it holds 100,000 people, then really I need to think 100,000 multiplied by what number equals one million? And so often, what I like to think about is shifting in place value. If the one is currently in the hundred thousands place value, and I want it to be in the millions place value, how many place values does it need to shift? Right, one place value. So when I shift a number by one place value, what am I really multiplying by? That's right, multiplying by 10. Also, you can look at the numbers of zeros. How many zeros are in 100,000? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many zeros are in 1 million? <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So how many more zeros do we need to add? One more zero. So we're going to multiply by 10. So how many stadiums would it take to hold 1 million people? 10 stadiums is your answer. Looking at B, it says, according to estimates, there are over 300 million people living in the United States. How many Nayland stadiums would it take to hold 300 million people? So again, we can think 100,000 per one stadium multiplied by a number equals 300 million. And so first, I'm sure you can see that we need to multiply it by three, but it's not gonna just be three, it's going to be 30, 300, 3,000, that's what we need to decide. So again, if we're here in the hundred thousands, we want to move to a hundred million. That's what this place value is, is a hundred million. How many place values are we shifting? So if we start here in the hundred thousands and we shift one, two, three place values, that's times 10, times 10, times 10. 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. And so my answer here is 3,000 stadiums it would take to hold 300 million people. Let's look at number six. The table below shows the estimated population of different countries as of 2012. Round each number to complete the table. So now we're rounding to the nearest 1 million. So we look at the 1 million place value, which is here. I look to the right, I see eight, so that increases by one, that digit, to make 79 million. 
rounding to the nearest 100,000. Again, I look to the right, I see a six. So this number becomes 68,900,000. Rounding to the nearest 10,000, I look to the right, I see an eight. That's gonna increase by one. And so the number is 78 million eight hundred seventy million. Looking to France, rounding to the nearest one million. Look to the right, I see a six. So that five is going to become a six. Make sure you hold all your other place values with zeros. Next, looking to the nearest 100,000. Look to the right, I see a three. That's going to stay the same. Six, five, six, zero, 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 zero. Rounding to the nearest 10,000. Look to the right, I see a zero. Means it's going to stay the same. Six, five, six, three, zero, 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 zero. Let's look at the next one. Rounding again to the nearest million. Look to the right, I see it's an eight, so it's gonna increase by one, 49 million. And then I, I'm rounding to the nearest 100,000. Look to the right, I see a six, that's gonna increase by one. So 48,960,000. Rounding to the nearest 10,000. I see a six there in the 10,000, so look to the right, I see a zero, so it's gonna stay the same, 48 million eight hundred sixty thousand last or second to last one I see round the nearest million place value look to the right I see a one that's gonna stay the same forty two million rounding to the nearest hundred thousand look to the right I see a nine so that's become a two two hundred forty two million two hundred thousand and then rounding to the nearest 10,000, see a nine, look to the right, I see a two, that's gonna stay the same, 42 million, 190,000. And then looking to the millions, last one, look to the right, I see a two, it's gonna stay the same, 34 million. Rounding to the nearest 100,000, Look to the right, I see a zero. That's become 34,200,000. And looking at the 10,000s place, look to the right, I see a six. It's gonna increase by one. That becomes 34,210,000. And that's all for tonight's homework.